This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I share my thoughts on how to pick the best computer for video editing. Let's shift gears and talk about hardware. This has puzzled a lot of people, and I want to spend some time talking about it. Greg asks, I'm editing on a 2010 Mac Pro running Final Cut 10. 4.5 and running it on High Sierra. My question is, what should I look at when buying new hardware? Should I look at the new Mac Pro, the iMac Pro, or what? We're obsessing about the wrong thing. Any modern CPU is fast enough to edit 4K or smaller frame sizes. We focus too much on the clock speed of the CPU. Faster and bigger storage is essential if you're editing 4K or larger frame sizes, or if you're editing HDR, or if you're editing high bit depth video. Storage is the gating factor, not your CPU. More RAM is better for larger frame sizes. If you're doing 4K, 6K, 8K, more RAM is better because you need more space to hold those larger images. I got an email this morning from someone who's not on the webinar who is editing 50 megapixel images inside Photoshop and wanted to know if more RAM would help. He has an 8 gig system. And the answer is absolutely yes. Photoshop is RAM hungry and it wants to load the entire image into RAM at the same time. The bigger your images or the more layers you have, the more RAM you need because Photoshop will benefit from the additional RAM. A faster GPU is better for effects, color grading, and rendering. So if you're spending a lot of time doing that, get the best GPU, fastest GPU you can afford. What you're getting with a GPU is not higher quality. You're just getting faster rendering. It's faster, but not better. A faster CPU is better if you're doing video or audio compression. Most, but not all, Video compression relies on the CPU. H.264 is legendary here. So if you're doing lots and lots of video compression, a faster CPU will be beneficial. If you're on an older, slower, or smaller system, the proxy workflows inside both Final Cut and Premiere are excellent and a great way to get work done without having to invest in more hardware. In general, worry less about your CPU speed and worry more about the other components of your system. I'm not saying that spending more money is of no value. Clearly, if you've got the budget, spend it on the top of the line. You've got bragging rights and you have a great system. But not all of us have unlimited budgets. So to help you decide how to spend your money, this is a good place to start. Get a mid-range CPU always an i7. The i3 and i5 don't have the same throughput. Get an i7 CPU. And then after that, consider the criteria that are listed here. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 269. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.